Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. The Lord is risen. Hallelujah. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us. We belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Go within his gates giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is risen. Hallelujah. Sion, sing, break into song, for within you is the Lord with his saving power. Rise and shine forth, for your light has come, and upon you breaks the glory of the Lord, for the darkness covers the earth and the thick clouds the people. Sion, sing, break into song, for within you is the Lord with his saving power. But upon you the Lord shall dawn, and in you his splendor shall be revealed. Your light shall guide the Gentiles on their path, and kings shall walk in your brightness. Sion, sing, break into song, for within you is the Lord with his saving power. Wonder and thanksgiving shall fill your heart, as the wealth of nations enriches you. You shall be called the city of the Lord, dear to the Holy One of Israel. Sion, sing, break into song, for within you is the Lord with his saving power. You, who were desolate and alone, a place unvisited by men, shall be the pride of ages untold and everlasting joy to the nations. Sion, sing, break into song, for within you is the Lord with his saving power. No more shall the sun be your light by day, nor the moon's beam enlighten you by night. The Lord shall be your everlasting light, and your God shall be your glory. Sion, sing, break into song, for within you is the Lord with his saving power. No more for you the setting of suns, no more the waning of moons. The Lord shall be your everlasting light, and the days of your mourning shall come to an end. Sion, sing, break into song, for within you is the Lord with his saving power. The one who came down from heaven has ascended above all the heavens. Alleluia! The Lord's is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is he who set it on the seas, on the waters he made it firm. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? The man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things, who has not sworn so as to deceive his neighbor. He shall receive blessing from the Lord and reward from the God who saves us. Such are the men who seek him. Seek the face of the God of Jacob. O gates, lift high your heads. Grow higher, ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, the mighty, the valiant, the Lord, the valiant in war. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is he, the King of glory? He is the Lord of armies. He is the King of glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. King of glory, Lord of power and might, cleanse our hearts from all sin. Preserve the innocence of our hands and keep our minds from vanity so that we may deserve your blessing in your holy place. The one who came down from heaven has ascended above all the heavens. Alleluia! Keep this day as a festival day and give praise to the Lord. Alleluia! Blessed be God who lives forever, because his kingdom lasts for all ages. 
for he scourges and then has mercy. He casts down to the depths of the nether world, and he brings up from the great abyss. No one can escape his hand. Praise him, you Israelites, before the Gentiles, for though he has scattered you among them, he has shown you his greatness even there. Exalt him before every living being, because he is the Lord, our God, our Father, and God forever. He scourged you for your iniquities, but will again have mercy on you all. He will gather you from all the Gentiles among whom you have been scattered. When you turn back to him with all your heart to do what is right before him, then he will turn back to you and no longer hide his face from you. So now consider what he has done for you and praise him with full voice. Bless the Lord of righteousness and exalt the King of ages. In the land of my exile I praise him and show his power and majesty to a sinful nation. Turn back, you sinners. Do the right before him. Perhaps he may look with favor upon you and show you mercy. As, as for me, I exalt my God, and my spirit rejoices in the King of heaven. Let all people speak of his majesty and sing his praises in Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Keep this day as a festival day, and give praise to the Lord. Alleluia. The mercy of the Lord fills the earth. Alleluia. Ring out your joy to the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Give thanks to the Lord upon the harp, with a ten-string lute sing him songs. O oh, sing him a song that is new, play loudly with all your skill. For the word of the Lord is faithful, and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and fills the earth with his love. By his word the heavens are made, by the breath of his mouth all the stars. He collects the waves of the ocean, he stores up the depths of the sea. Let all the earth fear the Lord, all who live in the world revere him. He spoke and it came to be, he commanded, it sprang into being. He frustrates the designs of nations, he defeats the plans of the peoples. His own designs shall stand forever, the plans of his heart from age to age. They are happy whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own. From the heavens the Lord looks forth, he sees all the children of men. From the place where he dwells he gazes on all the dwellers of the earth, he who shapes the hearts of them all and considers all their deeds. A king is not saved by his army, nor a warrior preserved by his strength. A vain hope for safety is the horse despite its power. It cannot save. The Lord looks on those who revere him, on those who hope in his love, to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. In him do our hearts find joy. We trust in his holy name. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Nourish your people, Lord, for we hunger for your word. Rescue us from the death of sin, and fill us with your mercy, that we may share your presence and the joy of all the saints. The mercy of the Lord fills the earth. Alleluia. A reading from Acts chapter 13. God raised Jesus from the dead, and for many days thereafter Jesus appeared to those who had come up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem. These are his witnesses now before the people. We ourselves announce to you the good news that what God promised our fathers he has fulfilled for us, their children, in raising up Jesus according to what is written in the second psalm. You are my son. This day I have begotten you. 
The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. He hung upon the cross for us. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. Peace I leave with you. Alleluia. Peace is my gift to you. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, and holy and righteous in his sights all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Peace I leave with you. Hallelujah. Peace is my gift to you. Alleluia. By his own power, Christ raised up the temple of his body when it had been destroyed in death. With joy, let us ask him, Lord, share with us the fruits of your victory. Christ our Savior, when you rose again, you brought the holy women and the apostles the joyful news of a world redeemed. Make us witnesses to your risen life. You promised to all people that we would rise up again to newness of life. Make us heralds of your gospel. You showed yourself to your apostles and breathed the Holy Spirit on them. Renew in us the presence of the same Creator Spirit. You promised to be with your disciples to the end of the world. Stay with us today and remain with us always. Let us conclude our prayers with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, you restored your people to eternal life by raising Christ your Son from death. Make our faith strong and our hope sure, May we never doubt that you will fulfill the promises you have made. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.